everyone. Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And I'm going to make a fun fold card with you today. If you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're from. I am going to be using the Apple Harvest set today. Uh, I'm, I don't know, there's something about this set, I, it just screams fall to me, I guess because in New Jersey we go apple picking in the fall. All right, just a couple things I want to let everybody know. Um, first of all, tomorrow there is a 24-hour sale going on with Stampin' Up. It's 15% off. Um, it says select stamp sets from the annual catalog. Hi, Akiko. Thanks for joining. It is every stamp set from the annual catalog except the host sets. So every stamp set in the catalog will be on sale tomorrow only from, I guess, 12.01 Mountain Time to 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, and you can get as many as you want. There's no limit. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you get your demonstrator discount on top of the 15% off. Um, so if there's any chance that you would want to join, now would be a really good time because you get all the stamp sets at 15% off, plus you'll get an additional, I believe it's another 20% off. So that is tomorrow only. Uh, September 15th. Okay. Other thing going on right now is our weekly deals. Um, if you go online today, if you go on my, um, into my online store, you will see next week's deals along with this week's deals and you can actually get both of them. They're overlapping them on Wednesdays. We've noticed. Okay, other thing is World Card Making Day is coming up for October 1st. Stampin' Up! is doing something, and our team is doing something also. Um, it's all day long. Our team is starting, I believe, I want to say 9 a.m. We're starting on Facebook. It's a free event. Uh, there's going to be giveaways. There's videos all day. We're, there's just one block of time that we're stopping, and that is when... Stampin' Up! is doing theirs. And during, up until October 1st, uh, when World Card Making Day is, if you purchase the Cottage Rose, the Cottage Wreath, or the new Warm Welcome, Cottage Rose is in the annual catalog, Cottage Wreaths is in the July to December mini catalog, and the Warm Welcome bundle is in the January to June 2023 mini catalog. If you purchase any or, or all of these, Stampin' Up! is going to send you a pack of iridescent um, pearl basic jewel embellishments free. You do have to enter the number, but it will be, they will be free. Okay. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining. Um, and like I said, our team is also doing something uh, that day, we will start at 9 a.m. We'll stop during Stampin' Ups, which I have to double-check the time for theirs. Um, I don't think I have it. I don't remember the time. I want to say it's from 2 o'clock Mountain Time to, like, 5 o'clock Mountain Time, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we will stop our videos during that time and then we will pick up once theirs is over. The other thing going on just for the month of September is the perfect partners. Now I'm using the apple harvest and this comes with the apple blossom dies and look at all the dies. There's a whole bunch of them. There's dies to cut out each of, well not this, each of the four, um, images there's the die to cut out the sentiment, and then there's all these extra, and I'm using a lot of the extra today. 
um, right now, just for the month of September, they have bundled it. The um, Apple Harvest stamp set with the Apple Blossom die. So you can get it at 10% off. And no, that one is not um, on sale tomorrow. But the Fresh Cut Stems, no, I'm sorry, Fresh Cut Flower stamp set is on sale tomorrow. So that one is for, but the bundle is 10% off. And if you get the, just the stamp set, you'll get the 15% off tomorrow. Uh, there's also the, this little piggy birthday, trimming the tree, waterfall Canyon and Yeti to party. They all have dies that are, um, that go with them. Okay. All right. That's it with that. We're going to get started on the card card. I did do a lot of the prep ahead of time. Um, like I said, I'm using the apple harvest and I'm also using through it together. I'm making a, a get well card. One of my cashiers just had eye surgery. So I thought I would make her a get well card. <clears throat> All right. We're going to start with the artwork, <clears throat> excuse me, part first. And this is just the mat for it. All right, so I did pre-cut a panel of basic white using the um, deckled rectangle dies, and this is the third largest die. I am going to, I'm just going to add this little, whatever this is, little background image, just to break up the white a little bit on it. And I'm just randomly going to stamp it. And you're real, probably really not even going to see. Whoops, almost made that one crooked. You're not going to see too much of this. But I'm just doing it on the one side, and it's uneven and crooked, and that's okay. I know, I don't usually do things crooked. But. Okay, so I did pre-cut and color the branch of apples. And I am going to, that's why I said you're really not going to see much of it. I am going to adhere it with Stampin' Dimensionals. Grab these. And I'm not going to put too many because I can always slip them under later. But I want to actually have, like over here, I'm going to put the branch underneath. But I figured I can always slip them underneath later on. So I'm just going to put the few, which should hold it okay. I do want to get a small one, though, to put on the stem. And I do have a few small ones. I cut every inch of my dimensionals. I don't know if you guys do, but I cut every bit of them. Just going to adhere. Oh, yeah, I can get this out of the way now. I just didn't want to get red on here. I have an issue with dark colors. I get them all over the place. I'm just going to put this right like that. Okay. Now I cut out two of the branches in soft suede. All the measurements um, and directions are going to be on my blog on Friday, creativestampanddesigns.com. But I did cut out the leaves in Granny Apple Green and the branches in Soft Suede. And I glued them on ahead of time because I, they're real small pieces. And to, to glue liquid glue on ahead of time, I really didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to put just a little bit right on the top. And we're going to slip this. So I didn't want to. Just underneath here. Let's make sure it's okay. And then I'm going to put the other one under this leaf here. Just kind of like that. All right. 
I'm putting the liquid glue away. But I am getting out glue dots. I think they at least. I forgot to have these out ahead of time. Because I also pre-cut a bunch of the flowers. And again, I glued the centers on because, it, again, it was with liquid glue. And I really didn't want, and you didn't need to sit and watch me, with tiny messes all over the place. And I'm just going to glue a bunch of the flowers on. Just, actually, I'm going to get my pick tool. Whoops. There we go. All right. I'm going to skip that one there. There's a, I actually have a double. I'm just, actually, I want to put one here first. I just wanted the apples really for this in the background, so that's why I put these over the top. I was bad with liquid glow. I'm just as bad with glue dots. Right, I'm going to put one here. I really like these dies, and I really wish they were staying with the um, the set. Oops. Put this flower first. I don't know if I'm off screen. If I am, I'm sorry. I keep getting. There we go. One more in here. Oops. Just on this stem here. And I have one more I was going to put up there, I think. Actually, I think that's all I'm putting. Okay. The other one on the side. Maybe I'll put it on the inside. All right, I am going to. I'm using liquid glue. <laughs> I'm going to adhere this to a poppy parade mat. And I forgot to tell you, is the I colored the well, obviously the stems with my um, soft suede stamp and blends marker. The leaves are covered, colored, sorry, with my Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends markers. And the apples, I don't know if you can see, the apples are colored, I first colored them with my Poppy Parade, and I just left one little spot, and I went over the whole area with my um, So Saffron Stampin' Blends marker. Okay? All right. On the card part, card front piece. All right, we're just going to adhere. This is a panel of Gingham Cottage DSP, and it, this is from, this is a huge pack of DSP. Get this straight. Um, I believe it's yeah, forty-eight sheets come in this pack. And it's, there's all, there's black and white, there's, hang on, I'll read you the colors real quick. We've got basic gray, black, blushing bride, calypso coral, garden green, mint macaron, pumpkin pie, real red, smoky slate, so saffron, and then white is on most of them. Um, and it's just all gingham, all different gingham patterns, which are really nice. I have found myself using it a lot more than I expected. All right, and then I'm just putting this whole thing onto a basic white card front. And then we're going to adhere this panel to the center. And I am not going to adhere it with dimensionals because... 
it is the whole thing's going to be popping up so i'm just gonna really hope i get this centered that looks pretty good i don't know if you ever notice i flip things over to pre press on them because i'm always afraid especially with the red ink and all, I'm always afraid I have it all over my fingers. All right, and then, I, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. Hope you are feeling better. I'm just gonna stamp it in um, the Memento Black Ink. Okay, not too bad. And it doesn't matter whether it's straight or not, because this is one of the dies, and I'm just going to cut it out real quick. So I will be right back. Hope everybody's having a good day. I started out pretty cool here today. But it has warmed up tremendously. piece of post-it tape. Sorry. Every time I go to start moving, everything seems to move on me. And I end up with a crooked cut. Sorry about that. Every time I went to start cutting, it moved. All right, poke those little things out, and it's crooked. So I guess it still moved. All right, we're gonna have to stamp this again. And I had a piece, another piece of paper out. I just can't. Oh, here we go. Okay, second time's gonna work, right? Looked like it was going through straight. Try one more time. This time I have the post-it note tape over there already. So, seems to be my savior. Whether it's a post-it note or the post-it note tape. Right. Try one more time and hopefully it'll go straight this time. That is why I don't do die cutting live. I do it ahead of time. I'm still crooked, but I'm going with it right now. All right, we're just going to put this on with a couple dimensionals. I can fix it later if it's still bothering me if it's crooked. Just gonna put this somewhere. This is not going the way I thought it was gonna. This has to be right on the front. Here we go. There we go. All right. Now let's get to the card base. <laughs> okay, I have a piece of thick basic white that is four and a quarter by eleven. It is scored at one and three eighths, two and three fourths. I then switched the paper around, flipped it around in my 
trimmer and I scored it again at one and three eighths and two and three fourths. All right, we're gonna make fold these two in. So you got a gate fold, but then we're gonna fold fold them back out. are going to adhere another panel of the cottage the gingham cottage DSP to a poppy per oops poppy parade mat like so and then I'm going to adhere it to the card base. Just the one side though. I'm actually going to open this up. I'm just going to adhere this like this. And this will be the side that when you open it up you're going to see. Okay? And then I'm going to open this out because I need to. And we're going to put liquid glue right on this side and then we're just gonna adhere this right to the edge like so flip it over give it a good press and there's the card so when you open it up simple it looks straight from you <laughs> I'm happy it looks straight for you Karen <laughs> all right let's do the inside and again I did oh boy I hope I get this straight this one straight now okay this is from the throw it together I just put sending you this paper hug get well soon and oh, now I'm really nervous about getting this straight We're going to hold our breath just so. And really hope it goes straight. Oh, and it did. And then I'm going to put an apple down in the bottom corner. So I'm going to show you how I colored the apple. Make sure we get it inked up. We'll just put it right. that and we're just going to give it a second to dry so while that's drying I'll do the envelope flap and see this is the other side of the gingham it's just it's a bigger plaid I like the smaller plaid especially with um, with this set Jeez, my glue's not even coming out today feast or famine here make sure there's no glue give it a little trim and then the apple should be dry enough I can color it real quick so I could show you how I did color the apples Somebody said something to me last week, not last week, last week I got stuck at work, I think. Wait, what's today's date? I don't even know what today is. Oh. No, it was last week. That the post office is going to stop taking em um, the envelopes. You can't do this anymore. I haven't heard anything, so I'm going to keep doing it until... Until I get told, or until something gets returned to me. Okay, so I got Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, So Saffron, and Soft Suede. 
I'm just going to color this real quick. Make sure this is the dark. That's where I feel so weak a lot of times. I can't even open these. And I don't... I'm not a fantastic color. I just, for the most part, throw color on the way I think it should go. Sometimes if I want it a little more, a little more detail showing, I will go over it again and re-blend. Or I'll do the light first and then I'll um, like I could have colored the leaf in with the light granny apple green, then done, um, you know, outline the veins and then gone over it again to blend it. I think you can really do it almost any way. All right. And this is the light poppy parade. I was actually trying to make right now. In our area, the pink lady apples are out. So that's kind of what I was going with. And they are like a, a lighter red with yellow. So I was, I was trying. I think I came pretty close. That's why I did all the, I did the coloring ahead of time so you didn't have to sit and watch me color. I kind of just go around first and then I start filling in. So my daughter said to me the other day, she goes, I really want to go apple picking this year. I said, well, we need to see if we can find a weekend day that we're all available. It seems like she's always working or I'm always working. Somebody's always working in this house. So what I did is I just left that little bit of um, white. And then I took the so saffron and went around. So it gave it the little bit of yellow tint, but I didn't do the edges. I just went right over the poppy parade. Like that. Do you have places near you, Akiko, that you can go that you go apple picking? We have a few here. I love going apple picking. The problem is I always pick too many. I pick way more than we need. Luckily, apples last longer than, um, like if I were to go peach picking. Right? Peach picking they actually stop now here. At least I believe it did. Right, we're just going to put this on the inside. And we are going to be done. There we go. Give it a good press on the back. And there we go. And it fits right in your envelope. And I did do the envelope too ahead of time. And I just did the flowers with a tiny bit of flirty flamingo. So there you have it. I'm not sure what it's called. Double Z. It's not, I don't think it's a double Z fold. Though it could look like one. Um, I will have all the measurements along with a link to my video on my blog on Friday, creativestampanddesigns.com. All the correct measurements, if I made a mistake with anything, everything will be, I always put all the measurements on the bottom. So it's on the bottom right before uh, the supplies I used for it. 
All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I will, I'm going to go back to look at comments because I see comments on my phone, but nothing at all is popping up on my computer. So I kept looking up and no comments were there, but they're on my phone. So I know you've left comments. I will go back. I will answer comments or if you ha anybody had any questions. All right. Otherwise, I hope to see you back here next Wednesday at four o'clock. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.